Hi everyone, welcome to day two of the Clean Eating Challenge. And we want to give you today seven ways to give you the best success as you're doing this clean eating. And we want to keep them pretty simple uh, in order to just basic general guidelines to, to healthy clean eating that have really helped me uh, and, and the people I work with uh, just really make some great progress towards their health and fitness goals. And so we're going to start off with number one, which is really important, and that's eating five to six smaller meals throughout the day. And what this really does for you is it allows your metabolism to continue to process. And what ten people tend to do is maybe they'll skip breakfast or they'll do, um, uh, they'll do lunch and then they'll wait way long for dinner and maybe it's a six, seven hour gap even before they eat dinner. And what that does is it puts the body into what's called starvation mode. And what happens in starvation mode is that really as soon as any food is reintroduced after a long period of eating, and that's why we keep the two and a half to three hour rule is pretty strong, uh, but longer than that what happens is the body then, any new calories that sort of enters the, enter the system, then what will happen is the body will store those as fat saying, hey guess what body, better hold this for later um, in, in terms of just in case we don't get enough food. Okay, and so the more we can keep our bodies full throughout the day with smaller meals um, is going to be a really, really good thing. So some of you may go, oh, this is a 14 day clean eating challenge, you know, I'm, I'm going to be hungry all the time because this is clean eating. No, no, it's exactly the opposite. You're going to keep your body full throughout the day, so you're not going to be craving things and you'll also be satisfying your metabolism and keeping it rolling so you're burning calories all day long. I want to encourage you for number two is to eat, eat breakfast basically within an hour of getting up and drink one 16 ounce uh, uh, glass of water. Okay, I guess that may be a, a big glass of water, but making sure that you're getting your body rolling. Particularly that water <clears throat> is allowing your body's systems to get rolling. And that's, that does in fact get your metabolism started when you do do that early. I tend to do that first thing when I get up in the morning is I'll, I'll get a glass of water to get things rolling and um, lubricating your system, getting your uh, body ready for the day, especially if you're going to be exercising, it's a really great start. Okay, number three, make sure you're combining at every meal some form of lean protein and some form of complex carb. What that does, and here's the thing, there's a ton of evidence and I know that you're, you're, people go, oh, well, Atkins, well, no, just cut the carbs. Okay, we're saying complex carbs, and we'll talk about the difference between complex and simple. But the idea is, if you're doing that, that, that complex carb, which are going to be tend to be more of your browns, so your brown rice, your quinoa, uh, sweet potatoes, uh, brown pasta, whole wheats, uh, whole wheat bread, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of gluten. I will do some gluten, but uh, just keep it on the, the whole grain side of that, oats, um, particularly I do oatmeal and things like that. So uh, using that as a tool to uh, make sure that your body's getting enough energy throughout the day to process a lot of the protein that it'll get within the lean uh, proteins that you give it, okay? So lean protein each meal and a good complex carb, okay? I want you to also, number four, is to, to avoid the foods that slow down your metabolism. And those are the processed ones. So what ends up happening when your body encounters something that's a, like a foreign thing, um, and it could be, in the, the more, I guess, ingredients you read on the back of a label, the more um, chemical it, it looks and you start to can't read it. Um, you want to make sure that you're avoiding those foods because what ends up happening is your body is then slowing down its metabolism. It's a lot of those things will naturally slow down the metabolism and you're actually working against your body. So a lot of the diet things that you're eating sometimes are, in effect, counter productive to what uh, to the weight loss goals that a lot of people have when they're trying to eat quote unquote diet things. So watch that uh, when, you, when you do take out of some of the, the, the low fat things or even just low um, when they take out like low sugar things they're putting in other things in order to make the taste taste good synthetics that uh, really your body doesn't know what to do in process. Okay and then you uh, just make sure that you're drinking and this is what we talked about this yesterday a little bit was make sure you're drinking at least eight eight ounce glasses of water each day. That's minimally 64 ounces. And like we said yesterday, that's if you're not working out. If you're not doing any form of workout regimen, that should be just plain out for a living. Okay, Doc doctors have decided that and minimally that's, that's where you're at. 
If you are exercising, you're doing the more strenuous exercise, you're going to need more fluids. And general rule of thumb is around half your body weight in ounces of water. Okay, so making sure that you've got that, and like we said yesterday, make sure you got some kind of a cool container. Maybe you're proud of it, maybe you can carry that around, and you're like, yes, this is my water container, and I will show everyone that I'm drinking my water each day. Um, and that's really, really great. I want to also encourage you, the final one, here, our final couple here, is to consume some good fats. Okay, so good fats, I think people tend to think, though, it's like a low fat um, is, is all good, but here's the thing, particularly when you're doing things, um, like fish oils, um, avocado, um, some of your nuts, uh, those, those kind of uh, foods are going to give you good fats that are going to help your brain for because you know your brain is made up of fat and you need that for your system. So if you're completely cutting out fat, that's probably not a good idea. General rule is somewhere around 20% of your calories should be coming from good fats. And that's gonna help you with your good cholesterol. So the bad cholesterol will actually be kept at bay because of this, but your good cholesterol will also raise into a healthy zone that you want. So fish oil is a particularly great one. I use what's called krill oil. I use the brand called Advanta. Um, a krill oil that's available on Amazon and it's really a, a cost-effective one and it's really good. Krill is about 10 times the concentration of omega-3 fatty acids that, uh, that a normal fish oil tends to be. And so I have to take a couple of those each day and rock and roll and also helps lubricate your joints uh, and keeping good joint health if you're doing particularly like I do a lot of insanity um, with uh, plyometric training so it keeps my joints in good shape. And finally, the last step, last thing that I want you to do is regarding reward meals. So each week you should be looking to probably reward yourself once, okay, during this particularly this journey. You can maybe do maybe twice beyond this journey, but particularly for the 14 days, we're gonna ask you to stay within doing one, what we would call a cheat meal, maybe a reward meal is actually a better way of calling it. And it's intentional and it's planned and it will be when you choose rather than surprise, it's a, it's a cheat meal. I'm eating pizza now, I didn't even know I was. Um, occasionally that has to happen just because of... All right, so the final tip number seven is using a cheat meal or a rewards meal wisely. And so the deal with a cheat meal is we wanna give you one per week. And the idea of having one per week is that it sets a limit to it. And we also wanna make sure that you're planning when that meal is going to be. And so, particularly usually ends up being on the weekend, maybe we're through with family or things like that. And so our goal is to really be somewhere in the 90 to 95% clean eating for this two weeks. Now, beyond that, you might add one more. So people, depending on what you wanna do progress wise, you can do a couple of cheat meals in a given week, but you gotta be careful how much you cheat and then what you're doing around that. Because the idea of a cheat meal is great to reward yourself, but the idea is if you do too much and you go too far, you will completely sabotage a lot of the progress that you're doing because basically it's a numbers game. So, I'm gonna give you the fast quick of this is 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. If you have a calorie deficit, so you are actually burning more calories than you're consuming of 3,500 uh, dollars, 3,500 calories per week, and you make sure that that's happening on a weekly basis, you will lose one pound of fat each week, okay? The issue is, and what can tend to be a problem is, if you do a meal that goes over your calorie limit, say by 700, 800 calories, okay, something crazy like that, the progress that you've made through that week, you've already, you just like knocked off like one fifth of your progress of your calorie deficit for the whole week. So be careful. Be smart around that. You may want to under eat a little bit before a cheat meal and under eat on the other side of a cheat meal and making sure that that's happening uh, so you're not overdoing your calories. And then, again, making sure that you're planning on it because it's not like suddenly you want to be like, uh, I guess I'm standing here and I guess this is my cheat meal now um, and I was planning on that cheat meal uh, tomorrow when I was with my kids and uh, I got to do two cheat meals. And so that ends up being a problem. Okay, so for this 14 days, we want you to stick to the one rewards or cheat meal each week, and we think you'll be more successful with that. All right, guys, thanks for all your hard work, and we'll keep moving forward together. Let's go.